to be able. Bloopers are really nice. Come on. Okay, this one is on. Thinking while talking, and I'm like, don't no. think. So, hello everyone. I can finally say welcome to my channel. I will quickly describe what my channel is going to be about. We will be singing every time at the end of the video. But what we're gonna do in the beginning of the video is that we're gonna discuss the topic of the song that I will be singing. We're gonna talk about, uh, let's say the song is about betrayal, we're gonna discuss betrayal. If the song is about love, we're gonna talk about love. If the song is about life, we're gonna talk about life. In general, I want you to take a break from whatever you're doing just watch the video, enjoy the video, take your coffee, enjoy it, and just let's discuss. So, let's go! <laughs> let's start! Okay, what are we gonna talk about today? You mean which song we're gonna yes. sing today and what are we gonna yep. discuss? Okay, I will tell you the topic of the song and you will guess the song. Yes. Okay? What if I tell you... Okay, here it is. I wish I had so big problems as high as mountains and I wish I was homeless but like like I wish all those problems happened to me but not having a lover is that Yara Matu Yara yes <laughs> love gives for some pain Yara Matu Yara Guda that's what we're gonna sing today and that's what we're gonna discuss yeah so what are we gonna discuss? What do you think it's related to? Well, I think it's related to, like, it's about toxic relationship and that... It's toxic relationship? Yeah, people. and how it affects you. Okay, so our question now is, who are the toxic people? Toxic people are the ones who control you. Yeah. But, but, but not the loving control, you know? They want to take care of you, they want to take care of your heart, and, uh, you know, yes. not this type, no. It's the type that they want you, they want to control your, your behavior, your actions. Um, sometimes it's, it can also be mentally and physical control. They want to make the other person feel so small until they're diminished. They want to put the other person in a small box mm -hmm. and just have boundaries and limits and like until the person suffocates yeah that's what a toxic person does uh, and they have this thing where they choose nice people with the kindest hearts mm -hmm. because they know that those kind of people will never leave them yeah they will never leave because and they are easily controlled yeah they are easily controlled plus kind-hearted people will not leave a sad person or a toxic person because they'll be like oh I think this person needs extra care this person needs me I will try to help them until they heal but here's the thing they'll never change yeah they'll never change <laughs> so that's why I think they choose kind people we always think that we will be able to reach out and help and someday they will change and be nice to us and they will be treating us the way we treat them or whatever problems they had before they will forget about it and start a new life but that's not gonna happen they will keep being toxic and the thing about them is also if you're let's say in a toxic relationship or a friendship or even family they, it can be toxic as well uh, you cannot grow in that relationship you yeah. can't grow as i said they put you in this box and the more you want to get out of that box the more trapped you get yeah which is a bit I don't know if it makes sense yeah it, it but does. that's how yeah. it is because you struggle to get out of it yeah but they try to push you down even harder exactly like no you're not leaving yeah so, like, this is a thing <laughs> that they learn from their childhood or maybe something happened to them that they got influenced by it and they also want to try it or maybe they are at a low point in their life yeah they want to feel like a boss that's yeah. why they want to control other people to feel like a big person but mm. that's not nice that's not okay yeah the next question is when do you start realizing that you're in a toxic relationship because it's it's very difficult to realize that so 
what do you think? Here's the thing, I have people who are in toxic relationship, but if you are in the relationship, it's hard to see it, because, um, how can I describe this? <laughs> this is fun. If you're in the relationship, you're blind. You are yeah. totally blind. Blind. <laughs> you're totally blind. When you are feeling that you're gonna suffocate anytime soon, that's toxic. It's the feeling of you're missing something, but you don't know what it is. It's not missing. It's not missing feelings of love. It's not feeling um, a passion missing. No, no, no. It's not that type of things. It's like when you are feeling abused mentally. Yeah. You feel like you are being controlled. You are being. Uh, you, the person is dragging you down all the time, not listening to you, not doing the things that you want, not putting enough effort in the relationship, mm -hmm. and threatening you all the time. Like, if you don't do this, I'm gonna do this. If you don't yeah. do that, I'm gonna do that. But, but it's... You don't have patience anymore. You, you know, will that, not yeah. have patience anymore. And that's patience when, anymore. like, you should stop. If you're not getting the same vibe yeah. from the person in front of you, then it's not worth it. Yeah. So... Yeah. Okay, um, I have a friend that... Um, oh yeah, okay, got it. Okay, <laughs> to um, Sam. So, okay, um, moving on. Oh, but it's just so... It's difficult to leave the relationship. Okay, you know? here's why. Because, as I said, since those toxic people keep pressuring you and pushing you all the way down to the bottom, yeah. you feel like you are worthless without them. Because they kept talking about your insecurities they like pointed out your insecurities okay yeah. they kept saying you're worthless you're nothing without me yeah. you can't do anything without me being there for yeah. you so for the nice person mm -hmm. it can be very difficult to leave because all they will think is like no one else will love me no one else will treat me the same way as the toxic person is yeah. treating like that's good that's great if yeah. no one else is treating you that way. They will think that they will not have that comfort zone yeah, once again. they meet new people, which was not comfort zone, by the way. That was not comfort zone. That's that's what you told your mind yeah. that it is, but it's not. Uh, so that's why it can be difficult to meet new people yeah. because in your head it's like I'm worthless. I'm like they will not talk to me. Why will they talk to me? Yeah. Like. What, what do I do in life? I have nothing in life. The only thing that I had was a toxic person and that person left me. So, yeah. like, why would anyone love me? Why would anyone want to be with me? So all those thoughts will drag you down and, like, You're it's all negativity. Smaller smaller. Yeah. Exactly, you'll feel smaller and you will not want to take step forward. Yeah. You'll take step back and back and go to the person where you feel most comfortable with. Because your whole energy with. is taken now. And it's weird that you feel comfortable around that toxic person because your your body, your brain, your heart is so used to that that mm -hmm. when you, once you get out of that box, you will not feel comfortable. It's like it's out of your comfort zone because you're not used to be treated right. Yeah. You're not used to get the right energy. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Doesn't make yeah. sense about this, but I've never uh, like experienced a toxic relationship or toxic friendship yeah, we're talking about but song, i yeah. like i learned okay there are two ways of learning things okay no three ways maybe <laughs> one you read always reading the second one is experience. you experiencing yeah. and the third one is observing you don't need to live everything and experience everything by yourself to learn something you can observe yeah you can learn from other people's experience but what is also good what if the same thing doesn't happen to you? Okay, you learn by observing, yeah. and you be like, oh, you know, if this happens, that's the result. But then what if you don't get the same result? You get, you get then my you handle things by your own way. Like, if um, I see, for example, my friend in a toxic situation, or any other, let's say, yeah. any other situation that's going on, and I see the result i can see what happened with her and the same thing happened to me i can predict what's gonna happen yeah. so i can stop halfway either change mm -hmm. my direction or take a step back or take a better step mm -hmm. i can think okay this is what happened with her 
so I shouldn't do this, I should do that instead. Yeah. That's what we can do yeah. by observing. Exactly. Okay, let's talk about the um, the lyrics, the, the about lyrics. the song, I mean. What do they mean? Uh, the name of the song is Yara Martu Yara Guda. Yeah. Yar means love, Yara means wound. So basically it's saying, love gives the person wound, but I've realized it too late. Mm. Uh, and his heart that was made of stone, I yeah. thought it was gentle. Deep. And then it says, I wish I had um, like problems as big as mountains and I wish I was left homeless. Like I wish all that to happen to me, but not have a lover because can you realize like when you translate the lyrics, it's not doesn't. It make doesn't make any sense. sense. Yeah, but yeah. But once you sing it, it's so deep because imagine how much pain the person went through. Yeah. To say that I wish I was homeless and had all the problems in the world, but not yeah. have a lover. So that's what. Should, so. should we sing now? Yeah. So let's sing. Sajrit pokvat sirta në rakën ku shas gaca Jare martu, jare guta, shatu shas gaca Sajrit pokvat sirta në rakën ku shas gaca Jare sint qasat, te gdam verki Serier kelu te kit sa zavar ti robashu. Yerani choler nagne, andunu an permanai. Sari bestar dune nai, yar chune. Sari bestardu 